What's poppin' you guys? How y'all doing this week? If y'all new here, my name's Ciara, and this is Self Made Energy, where we want for nothing because we can manifest anything. This week, you guys, I wanted to get into something a little different, something I've never really tried, and I was so nervous to try, but oh my god. I'm in love, I'm addicted, and I'm probably gonna be doing this every day for the rest of my life because they came out so cute! Oh, yes, these babies. Do you see? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You guys, literally, literally, literally. I'm literally in love. Like, I'm literally in love. I'm like, I'm literally, like, I'm literally so in love with these babies. Y'all don't even understand. They came out so cute. I was not expecting this result at all. I was literally expecting a piece of garbage and instead I got pure magic. Like, magic. This week I wanna get into making these little babies. I'm calling them zombie babies just because I'm making them out of scrap fabrics that I have left over from other projects or little pieces that were just too small but a little too big to throw away you know stuff like that so my zombie babies were created hold on i have a public service announcement it's about to get serious <laughs> i'm so retarded no anyway seriously you guys this baby right here this baby this baby it's for one of you. Yes. Oh my God. This little, I don't even know what it is. It's like, I think it's a mouse. It, it kind of looks like a mouse. I think it's a mouse. This little mouse is going to be for one of you guys. I can't wait for one of you to have this one. I'm actually going to give it out when I hit 100 subscribers. I'm getting pretty close. I know it's been a long road, you guys, and I'm so glad of, glad I'm so, oh, words are hard. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I'm trying to tell you how appreciative I am for all you guys that have been sticking around this whole time. Like, y'all, the ones that have been here from the beginning, like. I have no words. No words. You are appreciated. And that's why you're going to get this baby. <laughs> but yes, once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm giving this baby out to one of you. I probably said these words 100,000 times in the wrong way, but that was the whole gist of this moment. That was the public service announcement. <laughs> but yes, let's get into the actual video of how I made these little babies because I'm so excited and I'm, I have no words. Literally, I have nothing to say. I'm trying to ramble to make this intro because I know I need an intro, but I have nothing, literally nothing to say. So, let's go. <laughs> okay, so boom, this is what happened. I wanted to make sure that I made these teddy bears right, so I found a pattern just for the shape, and this pattern is of a bunny. The other one I made from scratch once I got the actual gist of it. That's why I wasn't sure what it was, just because I put a bunch of random shapes that I felt like it would make a teddy bear. And boom, that's how that mouse happened. But anyway, back to this. <laughs> the first thing I did was figure out which fabrics I wanted to go together. Because I knew I wanted to use a bunch of different ones so it could look all patchworky and vintage. And you know, just a little different from everything else out there. So, this is what I'm doing. Just taking the pattern, putting the fabrics over it, seeing where I want to go where. That sentence sounded weird. <laughs> but yeah, I'm seeing which fabrics I want to use for which parts of the teddy bear. Like this part, I'm going to cut out for the arm. This one for the tail. This one for the ear. And I also ended up adding some lace and some frills and some extra stuff just to make it, you know, a little interesting you know throw a little razzle dazzle in there I don't know 
Once I was confident in my pieces and my fabrics and I was happy with the placement, I began to pin all the pieces together. So this pattern has two pieces for the front, one for each side, a left and a right, and then two pieces for the back, also a left and a right. And then it also has a separate pattern for the top of the head. Not like a separate pattern, but like I cut it separately, so now there's a separate pattern. So I also pinned that as well. And then I took the time to pin my little embellishments, like the little lace pieces on the ear. But yeah, it's cute. I love it. And we're going to move on with the video without me talking because you can see what I'm doing right here. extra tedious part of sewing all of these pieces together and there were a lot of pieces since I wanted to be so finicky about this project <laughs> but yes I just sewed along the pins I did a straight stitch I probably should have did a zigzag stitch because it may or may not have some stretch but the fabric was not stretchy so I just figured it wouldn't be stretching that much but Maybe next time I will do a zigzag stitch. I don't know. Sounds like a good idea. You should probably do a zigzag stitch. But anyway, I don't make teddy bears for a living, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just telling you what I did. <laughs> but yes, I just sewed along the pins and attached all the pieces of fabric together everywhere. I attached the front together first, and then I attached the back together. And then I pinned those pieces together and sewed around the entire outside, leaving a little tiny opening so I could turn. I just cleaned up all the edges made sure everything was nice and neat and even and then I just clipped all the curves because I do want these curves to form a nice even soft sweet seam and not no lumpy bumpy crap because that's gonna annoy me so make sure you clip your seams if there are any rounded edges I actually just clipped the entire thing just to be safe because I couldn't tell but yeah, now it's time to flip it over. And yes, like, do y'all see? She's so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. But yes, I just left a little hole in the tail just so I could stuff it. Look at them. Yes. Once you stuff it up, you can just do a top stitch right over that little hole to close everything up. And you're ready to... 